Hello everybody, I'm Dave Chaos and welcome to Mod Spotlight. And you may have guessed already, this is the Iron Man mod. Oh yeah. So, let's show you what this beauty can do. And then uh, I'll move on to how to craft this thing once it's installed. This mod uses Forge, uh, which is good because a lot of things use Forge nowadays. Uh, yeah, so let's get on. It's, it's fairly simple to install. Um, so, first things first is to show you how uh, all the different things work in this suit. So, the first most fun thing is uh, it has super powered arrows. You may also know that I'm running extremely fast, <laughs> which is also part of this mod. Yes, aha, here we go. Some unsuspecting cows. Right, so all you gotta do is basically point in their direction and press Z. Now these aren't like any old arrows that you'd normally get. These are super hyper fast powered arrows um, they go in a perfect straight line and they do massive knot back as well uh, there we go Pion. oh yeah and the chicken Pion. and you can just shoot loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of them now I think the plan is in the future is they will be changed to like bullets rather than arrows but for the moment this is still a work in progress and um, there's also lasers which you do with by pressing Z so you just point at your victim and press Z and it goes down. Did I press Z then? Sorry. X. X, not Z. Okay, so what X does is basically shoot lasers. And if I... There's no particle effect for it for the, at the moment. So if I just shoot near me there, it's lightning at the moment. Let's hit um, a pig. And the pig's dead. <laughs> but you may have noticed he quickly turned into a pigman there. So, yeah, that's still work in progress. Um... Then you've got a um, C, which will do huge explosions in your location. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Watch. Oh my god. Massive explosions. So let's do that again. Yeah. Loads of fun. And then, let's see now. Let's throw it over there. Um, right, then you've got V. So you just look at an area and press V. It'll set it on fire. Hang on a minute. Let's go somewhere like this. Oh yeah, burning tree. Oh god, wrong button. <laughs> I just wrecking the place. Yeah, so V will just burn everything. Let's get myself back over here. I don't want to go too far away. Burning tree. Press V on the way. Burn a tree. Yeah, awesome. Um, then you got B, which is basically the blow stuff up button. So you look in the general direction and press B. So anywhere you look will blow up. Like this. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's go mining. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Ultimate miner. Cool. That was that was pretty devastating. Right. Next, you um, have the obvious one, which I've been doing all the way through. This is um, pressing spacebar. Ah, yeah, I've, I've busted my helmet because I pressed I pressed B far too many times. But yeah, up we go. So there's your flying, uh, flying, with a bit of a particle effect coming out the back. Um, you can press shift to glide, so you do slow fall. You don't like to take any damage from falling out of the sky, either, which is also good. And there's one last thing which this pig is going to get it is when you get close to them, they just burst into flames. <laughs> which currently isn't toggleable, there's no options for switching that on and off just yet, but hopefully there will be in the future. So, let's have a look at how you make one of these. They're not cheap, I'll tell you that. So, what you've got to find yourself is when you go mining is titanium ore and viridium ore. Now these are as rare as diamonds, so it's going to take you a while to get enough to make one of these suits. But once you've got yourself a collection of that, this is how you start making stuff. So, you're going to need yourself three iron ingots, three gold ingots, and three titanium. Ah, yes. And that'll give you um, three armor plates. That reminds me, the titanium ore, you just smelt it like anything else, and that'll turn it into ingots. Uh, the viridium, basically... You just use it as it is, it's raw material. So you need nine of those to make a viridium core. And then you're onto rockets, which you need. So you need 
four iron ingots, two TNT, and an armor plate for five rockets. And then you've got, you need to make electronics, uh, which is two iron ingots, two gold, one armor plate, and one piece of redstone, which give you three of them. Then the actual arc reactor itself is two electronics, four diamonds, the iridium core that you made, and two titanium ore. And then we're on to the actual suit of armor itself is basically all made out of this arm plating, the same crafting recipes as you'd expect for any other piece of armor. Now, this is where it starts getting different. The this armor, the suit shell as it's called, is as strong as diamond, but um, it doesn't have as much durability as a diamond suit. And you've also got this piece here, which has got the arc reactor in it, which is called the powered suit. And um, this is again, uh, this is a little bit stronger than diamond and a little bit more durability than just the plain suit shell. So that's how to make that, that's how to get your suit. And then on to actually making it into the Iron Man suit is, is like this. So, uh, you need two redstone lamps, three electronic circuits, the helmet, and three glass to make the Iron Man helmet. Uh, for the chest plate you need your powered suit, two electronics, two rockets. And then you need, for the, the legs or the pants, you need your, your shell version, four electronics and four rockets. And finally, for the boots, you need the original shell boots, four electronic circuits and two rockets, which will give you the Iron Man suit. I'm just going to take this helm, considering I've used mine up. Yes, they do have durability. They do run out if you go crazy with them. So, there you are. That is the Iron Man suit. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. Loads of fun. Good little addition to uh, the old single player stuff that you can do. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like and favourite. And uh, keep an eye out on the channel for more tech it and hopefully eventually some ether stuff. Alright guys, see you later.